You unlock this door with a simple registration. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of memes. A dimension of trolls. A dimension of morons. You are moving into a dimension of both factual and unfactual information. Of rumors and hopes. You just crossed over into X Fanboy Zone. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So, uh, slightly different video than I usually do on this kind of these kind of thing because it's gonna. Well, I'm just gonna basically expose this guy. This guy's been stalking me um, for a while. He's a bit weird. He's a bit odd. Odd thing is, is that um, when we saw, I think it was about a year ago or so, first encountered him, he come to me and my friends on Xbox and that, and was, uh, he was just keen. You know, we chat to him. He turned up for a podcast in the chat and that, and then he said, "Can I he come on the podcast?" And he's like, "Fine." Let him on. Um, very nervous. Uh, very odd fella. We sort of carried him as much as we could, but uh, yeah, he's very awkward. It was it was like like podcasting with uh, sort of a, a, a nervous pillow. What? Didn't do much. Um, didn't say much, and uh, was very soft. Basically, um, yeah, he, he was, it was very odd. Uh, so we didn't have him back on, but you know we still chatted to him. But he, oddly, weirdly, he turned really toxic and just started hating us, and attacking us all. Um, which is sort of brings me to this video really because he keeps, he keeps coming at various Xbox gamers and the Xbox community, coming out of stuff. You know, he come out it's attacked recently, uh, Mr. Boomstick, um, which is a, a friend, and you know, uh, it's just it's just weird. Basically, you know, he's just attacking anyone Xbox related. But as I said, he come at my panel members as well on my podcast that I run, uh, Red Dead Panda and Ashtray. He went at, and I mean, this this message is brilliant. This one's actually fantastic. The one, I mean, the, not only the one that gets read is very toxic. I mean, read that, it's just toxic. Um, but the one against Ashtray is hilarious because he actually the XP uh, free is Phil Spencer. He messages Phil Spencer. <laughs> he brings Phil Spencer into his console war bubble bullshit. And people said stuff like, oh, just block him, just ignore him and stuff like that. You know, which I did, you know, I did plenty of blocking. I mean, look at this. This is from Twitter, of which he actually has more accounts. I just couldn't get more on screen once. And and this is, this is YouTube. Check this out. I mean, how creepy is that? Look at all these accounts. I mean, you've got KJN there. KJN, who also says he doesn't stalk me. But, you know, there's several KJN accounts there. There's several other random stuff. There's, like, other fake accounts and other PlayStation fanboys. But look, Dauntless, how many times is on there? Ten? Maybe more? <laughs> it's, um... Yeah, it's it's beyond the joke, really, isn't it? Uh, sorry about the, <laughs> the quality of that. Um... It looks, that looks awful actually. But there is no denying this guy has a serious issue with me, a serious grudge, serious problem, and he is in no doubt a stalker. So, you know, I was thinking rather than just, you know, just keep blocking him, ignoring him and stuff, um, as Joker once said, they, they won't learn nothing. I mean, this guy does try to portray himself as some sort of intellectual. Uh, as he, had, he did have a book club thing on YouTube that, that collapsed because no one's watching it. Because he, uh, unfortunately, he's very awkward to watch and listen to uh, because he's very nervous and he's just uh, an odd fella, basically. I don't want to be too harsh, but he's odd. And so, uh, yeah, I think his channel failed. Um, but he's but he still passes himself off as an intellectual, and he tries to play the neutral card where he's but he's so toxic with it. But you know, it's it's weird when you get someone that thinks they're clever and really smart, and they just always come undone. Believe in a talking snake. Um, you don't have to pass an IQ test to be in the Senate, though. <laughs> So I thought I'd look into him, and just as he does everyone else, because he seems to f chase up everyone's uh, gamer scores and things like that. And seems to, he's under the impression, like many players, PlayStation fanboys, are under the impression that gamer score is sort of relevant to how much you game or if you're a gamer. 
it has no relevance. I've already explained the logic behind this, the common sense and logic why it's not. Um, but I mean, I, I'm just going for some videos. He, play, he plays Call of Duty, uh, clearly, even though he hates the game now because Xbox own it. But he plays Call of Duty and he's not very good at it. To be honest, I've seen some of his clips. He's not very good at it. And I mean, this score here is just one of them I just found on there. Uh, I mean, he's level 26. He's the highest person on there. But his score's not great. Um, so, uh, but I mean, let's go into his YouTube channel and have a quick look through and see what you find. So this is his channel. Let's have a look at Rooney, shall we? Uh, so remember, this guy's from the same ilk as KGN and X Gamer and stuff. I've done videos on that are very toxic and, and just harass people all the time. So it's just going to be through a few follows, King Fresh. <laughs> so you can you can see where I'm coming from with this. Um, I mean, he follows some random people, a lot of PlayStation stuff. Uh, it follows me. There I am. There I'm, I'm there. Um, see, nothing odd. That he harasses me and attacks me, but he follows me because he got some weird. I don't know. It's very strange. At the end of the day, I'm not going to loiter on this for too long. Uh, in fact, I don't really care. I don't give a shit, really. I just think it's weird that he does it. And I think he shouldn't throw stones in glass houses because, I mean, I see on his Twitter channel, he's got some partners and that. And I very much doubt that they would like to know that he stalks and harass people on the daily. Um, he most likely would lose his partnership, wouldn't he now? And that would just be awful if they found out. Wouldn't it be awful? Um, so I suggest to him to stop harassing people, stop being toxic and aggressive, and just, you know, go and play games and do your thing, Dauntless. Do your thing. Just get over whatever ever issue you have with the world and Xbox gamers now. I know you're sort of doing it for clout because you sort of like to be liked, but this is not the way you go around. I know you're going to have a certain fan base like you, but they're not really your friends. That's not how friendship works. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I thought I needed to get this out of there because, you know, he keeps going around. He's, he's under some impression people are stalking him and people would keep following him and uh, harass him. But it's clear. I just want to put the evidence out there and just make it known. Just this guy is a bit odd and not right. And probably steer, steer clear of him. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments below if you hear from this guy, or if he harasses you on Twitter, or you've heard him mention him. Uh, drop me a message, a comment, and uh, love to hear from you. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye for now.